Good chilly morning. Good chilly morning. I love this morning. Do y'all see this jacket? You see? You see that? I lost it. I didn't really lose it. I found it. When I started dragging out all my winter stuff, I spent the weekend sorting, going through, and getting out. Yes, wear this. Yes, wear this. No, don't do that. Put that on eBay. Give that to the thrift store. Yes, yes, yes. Clean out. Spring cleaning is fun, but Fall cleaning to me is much more productive because you seem to want to get rid of stuff. Stuff that you thought you'd keep in the spring that you were going to wear and you don't and you didn't and you don't need it and it's time to get rid of it. Get rid of it. But don't ever get rid of your Loretta Lynn jacket. This Loretta Lynn jacket has got many, many miles on it because many trips to Hurricane Mills. Hurricane Mills is a trip that I suggest each and every one of you make. I don't even care if you like Loretta Lynn's music. How could you not like Loretta Lynn's music? You have to like Loretta Lynn's music. Everybody knew she was the queen of country music, and we miss Miss Loretta Lynn, but you can still make your trip to Hurricane Mills, and I want, we're going to share today a visit with Miss Sissy Lynn and Miss Betty Sue Lynn, Miss Betty Sue sadly has gone on to be with Jesus and she's, her, she and her mom are up there now talking and hanging out and doing what they do best, what moms and daughters do, probably discussing, arguing or ciphering, a little bit of that. But I'm so excited to be able to share this trip. This is one of many trips to Hurricane Mills. This trip was a trip that we also did. I want to suggest if you haven't been to see what it's like at Mayfield Dairies and the things that they do go over into Athens, Tennessee. They have all kinds of things going on. Go over to Delano, to the Amish farm, go all around Tennessee, Georgia, North Carolina, Alabama. There are so many places that you can visit in a short, short time. Just a few hours visit, but Hurricane Mills would be my destination of choice. Now, after you go to Hurricane Mills, I'm going to suggest that you go, like we did, uh, I think two trips over to see something that's really, you know, you think about the movie Walking Tall. How many years ago was that? Over 40 years. But what an impact it made on everybody who ever saw those movies, and there were actually three of them. Go over and visit the museum, the Buford Pusser Museum. Sadly, his daughter um, is no longer there managing it, but I understand it is still open. So if you want to be, you know, in that area and you want to find something else to do, go over there and do that. You can also go to Nutbush, Tennessee, which is where a very, very, very famous lady was from. And, you know, uh, you might know her as Tina Turner. So... And Nutbush is about this big, and it has one little bitty sign that says Home of Tina Turner. It's a very, very small sign and a very, very small town. But a lot of music, a lot of memories, a lot of stuff came out of Memphis. Who's the other person who came out of Memphis? And Tupelo, Elvis Presley. So you could go to Hurricane Mills, you could go to Graceland, you could go to Nutbush, you could go to the Walking Tall Museum. You could do all of that in like a three-day weekend. That would be the coolest thing ever, and this is the week to do it. This is the week that everything is absolutely gorgeous. The leaves are perfect. Evidently, the Lord blessed us with just enough rain and just enough cold temperatures that things are just vibrant and beautiful. Now, we're going to share some photos of past fall, present fall, 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 fall. Can y'all tell I love fall? I love fall. It means that you turn the oven on and you warm the place up and you make a peach cobbler and you share it with your neighbors or you make a bread pudding and you share it. You do things that give to others. That's what we are put here on earth to do. God says we should do that. And I'm, I'm a professional at doing it. I love to cook and share, so... So that's what we do, and get out and take pictures of these beautiful trees. The leaves are just gorgeous this year, so, and if you haven't been to Jasper, go across Burnt Mountain, but carefully go across Burnt Mountain, and a little bit of history going on here, a little bit of um, the past, because we are forever preserving the past and embracing the future. Things are changing a bit. 
but we also want to preserve the past. And uh, that's, that's part of what we do here in our life. And one of the things that I do to preserve the past is I love using my old dishes. I love using my great grandmother's dishes. And that photo, I would not take a million dollars for. You talk about some precious, precious memories. Precious memories of serving smiling faces. We served over 40,000 meals to people who either couldn't afford to eat or needed help or just needed the fellowship. And fellowship is one of those important things. Now, I gotta show y'all this. Look how much Zana has grown. Y'all have seen the recent pictures of her. She's walking, she's getting into everything. She disappears in action sometimes and you have to go hunt that child down. But she is growing so fast. And this is a day that Jenny Byers and I had gone up to Dalton to pay our respects to a, uh, a lady who had just passed away, sadly, from dementia. Dementia is one of those things we are seeing it every single day. You take over people that we never dreamed that would happen. Often it's somebody who hasn't had any, the history in their family, and sometimes it's a lot of history. So... And uh, that is another one of my favorite photos. You talk about some sweet, sweet memories. And as I count the people who are missing, um, I think about Bob and Evelyn Blackstone. Evelyn Blackstone came up to me 18 years ago and asked me for my autograph because her husband was my number one fan. And sadly, she died of Alzheimer's. So, so sad. And that is my pride and joy car. And that's my pride and joy daughters, and um, what a precious, precious memory. And that was on Harris Road. And uh, man, I love that car, love them girls. We had a blast, and uh, yeah, yeah, been a, long, been a while, been just, just a day or two, just a day or two. And there again is Bob Blackstone. After his precious wife went to be with the Lord, he didn't make it much longer, and they had been married over 65 years and had known each other just a few weeks when they got married, and they made it for over 65 years. So precious, precious memory. And as, as fall hits, those are the things that keep us going through the winter. When winter gets dreary, we think about those people we love. And uh, Papa Jack and Joyce, boy, are you missed. And this lady, I'm going to visit her very soon has known me about longer than anybody and knew about me before I was born. And I'm going to go visit her in the near future because I said our days are numbered. You know, we just don't know when is the last time we're going to hear from somebody, get to see somebody. And there are the two dear bells of ball ground, the beautiful, beautiful bells of ball ground in the home that I absolutely love. This is where, at 17 years old, I visited my grandmother's best friend, Jewel Hubbard, and her sisters. And this is our ETC scarecrow, and he is sitting outside our office down in downtown Ball Ground. If you are new to the area and don't know anything about ETC services, check it out. Pick up the phone and call us at 706-253-2271 and say, hey, I want the best Wi-Fi going, and that gentleman right there can lead you to the best Wi-Fi going right here in our parts. So it is available all through Ball Ground and now even over into Waleska. So we are growing, and that is at the top lot. Now that is a really pretty picture. The car is pretty, but the sunset's pretty too. So just a beautiful, beautiful scene. And that's where some beautiful homes are about to be built. And this is a place that I'm having to educate folks. Even folks from LJ don't know about that beautiful house, the Kell House. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is on Boardtown Road. And to me, it is a picture perfect place for anybody's old cars. And I don't think they care if you stop and take a picture. Now this, is the last trip up to Cloudland Canyon to put flowers on my grandmother's grave. I would love to go back. I've got flowers ready. I, I think it would be awesome to get to go back up there. I just haven't had the time. But, um, yeah, my grandmother's buried near where they lived, and um, nobody ever takes flowers. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of a sad thing. This is a beautiful shot of Ball Ground First Baptist, and it uh, doesn't get much prettier than that. And you know who drew that picture? The Lord did. He did it all by himself. He didn't need our help. He didn't need our advice. He didn't need a single thing. He just, we woke up one morning, and there you go. 
He had done that for all of us to enjoy. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Now, as I age, I've aged a little. As I age, I have learned to do things that I didn't used to do. I use my antique dishes. I use them daily. I even put them in the dishwasher. Of course, Tori says that's a sin to put them in the dishwasher, but I do. On that table are my great-grandmother's dishes, my great-great-grandmother's dishes, my grandmother's dishes, and my great-aunt Leela's stuff. So I have such a combination of my special friends, special things. Now, this week in the progress, you're going to get to see Sherry's Simple Simple Shrimp and Grits. My shrimp and grits aren't like most people's. Mine don't taste like they came out of a Cajun restaurant. They taste like they come out of Sherry's Kitchen. So, and I want to remind you, Veterans Day is coming up. Please do something to salute a veteran. And that is funny. That is a shot I got of Mike Love with the Beach Boys. Well, let me tell you something. Those Beach Boys are like all of us. They're getting a little age on them, but they put on a great show, and I hope that next year maybe they'll come back to Hiawassee. It was packed house, and they did really, really well. And you got to remember, Hiawassee is one of those places. Now, this was at Hurricane Mills, and you talk about somebody who enjoyed being at Hurricane Mills. Everybody did, and in that shot, you can barely see Karen Jordan and her sweet husband and um, not long after that, he went to be with the Lord. So it is just, it's amazing to have all these memories. It's amazing to be able to share this. And, and that's what we do. We share these great memories and we remind you it's fall. Winter is coming. Get out and enjoy. Go to Hurricane Mills. Go to Cloudland Canyon. Go to DeSoto Falls up in Alabama. Get out and enjoy. And as you're coming home, from Hurricane Mills, if you take a certain road, you could go to Muscle Shoals and you can learn a lot about all the music that we all grew up with and love. And all these photos were taken up at the Hubbard House or the McClure House, and it's in ball ground. And again, there's those dishes. I love using antique dishes. Get your granny's dishes out and use them. When we're gone, ain't nobody going to remember whose dish was whose. And nobody's going to know anything unless you teach these young uns about these dishes. So let's do that. And uh, today we're going to teach you something. Everybody says, are you making peach cobbler again? Yes, it's cool weather. It is time to make those hot cobblers. It's hard to serve a hot dessert in the dead of summer. But once the temperature is cool, then get your peaches out, get your brown sugar out, get your white lily flour your butter, your melted butter, and your sugar, and just make this simple, simple cobbler. So we're going to show you that. We also have a couple of videos that we want to share with you. One is of a car, and this, this one has had about 8,000 hits in the last very short amount of time because guys like cars. The one thing you are guaranteed you will see in the fall is all the guys are getting out their hot rod cars because they know they have to put them up for the winter. Most of them have garages, most of them cover them, most of them put them up. And you know, once winter comes, you don't drive those cars like you did every day. So enjoy your antique cars in the fall. And have we got that little video we can do of the uh, Dodge Cornet? Can we do that? Right quick, there you go. This, this is so funny because this car has just been more joy and more pleasure and just a fun, fun car. And it's one of those that always gets thumbs up and gets lots of hits. When people see pictures of it, they always say, yeah, that's a cool, cool car. And it is, and it's a 66 It's uh, one of those desirable cars that guys like. And uh, if you have one, get out and drive it today. All week long, it's going to be pretty. You don't have to put your cars up this week. You don't have to put them in storage. It is time to enjoy these antique cars, so get out and do it. Get out and do it. Now, I'm going to take you, get your paper, get your pencil. People keep saying, how did you do that? Watch how I do it. This is how I do my crust. I melt the butter in the microwave. I add my sugar and my flour to the butter. You stir it up. It has to have the consistency of thick cream potatoes. And the peaches, it's so simple, y'all. You go to Angles and you buy the little big fat jar, uh, fat jar, fat can, 
and you open a couple of those if you're going to make it for a few people and then you add brown sugar in warm water and you stir it up and dissolve it mix it with the peaches it's so simple so just watch this video and if you're smart enough to have dvr and you hit record anytime you can't remember how to make a peach cobbler you just pull it up if you have uh, the internet and you go to youtube you pull it up and so this video is on YouTube and it's had a couple of thousand hits you can get on there and you can watch and it's so simple and that's what I do simple southern and scrumptious it's got to be simple it's got to be southern and it's got to be scrumptious I don't want none of them detailed hard to do things that that just doesn't my brain doesn't adjust to that so I want to remind you of a couple of things that are coming up this Saturday in ball ground free to everybody come out and be there the spectacular is going to be in the botanical garden this is a product of the city of ball ground and the garden club and it's going to be a lot of fun it's a free event there will be uh, all kinds of goodies to eat candies and cookies and da, da 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 all the things you would expect for halloween and we would love to see you and your kids out dressed up there from one to four on saturday it's going to be a beautiful beautiful day so please come and be with us and again this is a product of the ball ground garden club and the city of ball ground so come and see us and then get ready um, copper hill McKaysville, you always have a great Christmas parade, and we hope to be a part of that again this year. The Kiwanis um, has done it for many, many years, and we also want to invite you. I don't know if the deadline has passed to register for the Ball Ground Parade, but it is the 50th anniversary. It's a very, very important time to us because Santa has been a bit under the weather this year, and we're just happy that Santa is going to be able to be there this year. So. Again, become a part of that. You can get on the uh, city site and you can find out all about it and, and join in the parade and join in the fun. And there will be lots of fun and lots of parades. So there you go. We're going to take you now to the world's easiest peach cobbler and some say the world's best. So y'all just sit back, get your paper, get your pencil and take notes. It is a sunny Sunday in the South. It is also a windy sunny in the South. Do you see my hair? It looks like I've been blown out of a helicopter and I wasn't. I don't get in helicopters. I'm terrified of helicopters, but I will get in a kitchen. So if you will invite me to your kitchen, I will come and I will teach you and all your friends to make my world famous peach cobbler. Simple, Southern and scrumptious. You know what? I've been making this stuff. I did the math a while ago. I was good at math, not good at biology. I was good at math. I've been doing this for 52 years, y'all. I don't look a day over 59, do I? Tell me I don't. Tell me I don't. 52 years I've been making this cobbler. I can't believe it. It seems like yesterday when I started doing this. I've shared this recipe with so many people, and everybody says, oh, mine didn't turn out like yours. How much milk was I supposed to put in it? No milk. No milk. Peaches, brown sugar, a little bit of hot water. But that's the peach, peach part of it. The crust. Butter. See that butter? That's a stick of butter. A stick of butter. We're going to melt this in the microwave. And what button do we push on the microwave? <gasps> Popcorn, because I can't see the buttons because I'm getting older and 59, we'll just say. Now I go right here and I go right here and then I go right here. Uh-oh, did I goof? Oh, yes. there I go. Now, I did it. I did it. I did it. I can do the microwave, y'all. Oh my gosh, my teachers will be so proud of me. I've been out of school 100 years, y'all, but... I love teaching people simple, southern, scrumptious recipes, and this one is one of the best. And it starts with, you see this? I'm an Ingalls girl. I just got back from Ingalls where I went to buy vanilla ice cream, two different kinds. Why did I get two different kinds? Vicki, tell them. Because it was on sale. It was on sale. Two brands are on sale, so we got Briars and we got Pet. Yay, I love it. These peaches, this is how you do it. Everybody always asks me, how do you find peaches, fresh peaches year round because you always make cobblers. I've never used a fresh, fresh peach in my life and nor am I gonna start now because you can depend on this canned stuff. But you have to know my magic trick. And the trick is, you see that brown sugar in that can? You put some brown sugar in the bottom of your can and you fill it two thirds of the way full of hot water. You stir it up 
and you pour it in the peaches. Now, because we've already done that step, we're going to do something else with this brown sugar today. Because about a week ago, I was in a mood to make cobblers for friends, and I started making them, and I had no white sugar. And I thought, oh no, oh no, I can't do this. I see that. It's going to be okay. You want to check them? Yeah, let's check them. Look at that. <gasps> How beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look, 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 look. Looky, looky, looky. And when I made these with brown sugar, everybody loved them. And I thought, see, I told y'all a recipe is only a beginning. You begin with what you think it goes in it. And then you improvise. And I was out of white sugar. So I did it. Now, here we go. We've got this is the magic ingredient for our crust. You see that? That is Land O'Lakes butter. We're using Land O'Lakes butter because, you see this? We support American farmers. We support American farmers, American dairymen, American everything, because why? We're what? American. American, imagine that. We also support anybody who is trying to raise a family and go to the grocery store. I just came back from the grocery store and these two little bitty bags were right at 60 bucks. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are y'all kidding me? But anyway, support American farmers and you can do it when you shop Land O'Lakes. So do that. Now, y'all, I've told you and told you and told you. I've done four cookbooks. I do not measure. I do not measure. You see this? There's some flour, there's some flour, there's some flour. Now, here's some sugar, here's some sugar, here's some sugar. I always tell people, eyeball it. Okay, it looks like it's the same amount of sugar, same amount of flour, and the ingredients have to come out like thick cream potatoes. So, Vicki, what does that need? It needs more flour. And then what will it need? <gasps> more, more sugar, sugar. <laughs> more sugar. You know, Speaking of sugar, speaking of sugar, would you love to have had some Elvis Presley sugar? Yes, I would have. I love guys with black curly hair and blue eyes, and this was one. Today is my Elvis day. You know, Today's he's dead, dead too. Mm -hmm. He's dead, too. Every man, oh, all the men in my life, all, the, all those good men are dead. Oh, my gosh. That's, I don't know if that's a sign or not. But when we look back at our life and we think about the kitchens and the memories, we're approaching Mother's Day. I couldn't do what I do with my, my precious granny, my precious aunts, my precious mama. Everybody taught me a little something to do in the kitchen. And you know what they said? Every one of them said, keep it simple. Keep it simple, keep it southern, and keep it scrumptious. So we do. Now look at the texture of this. Now this is perfect for your crust. And, we're gonna, and we've just shown you the crust as it is in the oven. This cobbler is for my bestie because she's earned it and so she gets this cobbler and i'm going to tell you a little trick if you decide not to eat the whole thing tonight <laughs> <laughs> if you decide not to eat the whole thing tonight you can freeze it but y'all it is a crime to ever serve my cobbler cold if i ever hear tell of y'all serving my cobbler cold i will hunt you down and i will choke you out always serve it hot and always serve it with ice cream and you can use whatever brands on sale you know whatever you like but this is truly peaches canned peaches brown sugar canned peaches brown sugar that's what goes in with the peaches never buy a fresh peach you can't good get good fresh peaches always get these good canned ones and use them y'all use them Nobody will ever know the difference. Should we tell them the story about that 400-person cobblers I made for church? Uh -huh. The preacher called, and he said, we're having a little benefit at church. Could you make peach cobbler? I said, yes, Matthew, I can make peach cobbler. Two days later, he calls back, and he said, well, what do you need to make cobblers? I said, well, how many are we cooking for? He said, 400. I said, do what? And we did it. We raised a lot of money and one gentleman, and to this day, I would love to hunt him down and hug him, gave us a thousand dollar donation. He had two big bowls of cobbler, a thousand dollar donation. So if you have a church social going on, if you wanna do a fundraiser, my recipe is tried and true. It is so simple, it is so easy, and it is something that you can gather your friends together and y'all can do a fundraiser too. It made a lot of money for the church, 
and it made a lot of smiles on a lot of folks' faces. So we're gonna take these out of the oven in just a minute. You wanna get another close up of that? Now looky here, guys. Looky, looky, looky. The only thing missing is the vanilla ice cream. These will be browned in just about five or six minutes, and some of these are going to neighbors, and some of these are going to bellies right here. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't forget, share with your neighbors. Do something nice for somebody else. It'll come back to you 10,000 times, but if you're evil, and conniving and contrary, that'll come back to you too. So you better be careful. Take care of y'all and have a great, great day. Bye. <gasps> Guess what I smell? Guess what I smell? And it's not burned. I think it's going to be perfect. I think it's going to be perfect. Simple Southern and Scrumptious. Simple Southern and Scrumptious. Canned peaches, brown sugar, some hot water. Stir it up, put it in your pan. Melt your butter, add your sugar, add your flour. How simple is that, y'all? Simple, southern, and scrumptious. And now looky here, looky here, looky here. What you think there? Can you smell that? Do we have smell-o-vision? Wow, 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 wow. It's hot as Hades. It's hot. It's hot. I just burned this on my finger. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, be careful. Look at that. Crust, crust, crust. Sweet and luscious and we're gonna serve it with some ice cream. So y'all hang tight. We're gonna dish up some in just a minute. Alright y'all. 52 years ago when I started making this cobbler, same exact way that I make it today. Nothing has changed. That is not like me because I alter everything. But when I was expecting my first child, I ate upside down banana splits. So it's given me an idea. Instead of putting the cobbler in the bottom of this beautiful glass that we're gonna serve because it's spring and everything is green, we're gonna put the ice cream in the bottom and we're gonna put the peach cobbler in the top. And that means one thing, eat it fast before the ice cream melts your peach cobbler. So let's put the cobbler on top of the ice cream. Let's do, just like Zesto's on Ponce de Leon in Atlanta did for me, they made me upside down banana splits the whole time I was pregnant. They thought I was gonna deliver in their line at Zesto's. You know, that'd been a good idea. I'd have made the news. Here we go. We're putting the cobbler on the top of the ice cream, which is something I never have done before. But I just think we needed to do that. This crust is amazing. This cobbler is amazing. We're taking it to neighbors, but we're gonna enjoy a little bit ourselves. And so we'll do it as an upside down. It has ice cream on the bottom and we're gonna do a little dollop on the top. And there you be. Simple, Southern and scrumptious. I will list the recipe on my Facebook page. Go to Sherry Dobbs Martin, C-H-E-R-I-E, D-O-B-B-S Martin, and tune into The Sherry Show Monday through Thursday, ETC TV in LJ, Georgia. We go from ball ground to turtle town, and we'd love to see you come and visit with us. Bye, y'all. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ballground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park, and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com.
Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third generation race car driver. And we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. The ETC Game of the Week is back again this football season. Watch your local teams go head-to-head -head each week only on ETC TV3. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. is Loretta Lynn's restaurant up on the hill. Loretta Lynn Kitchen. Then the next thing you see is Betty Sue's Flea Market. Lynn Family Flea Market. Now, Betty Sue, how long have you been here? Ten years. Ten years, okay. As Loretta's, are you the oldest child? I am the oldest child. Okay. As the oldest child, did you have to take care of the rest of those youngins? Yes. Yes. Do you like those youngins today? Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. See, I'm no, the oldest. Yes, sister. I do. <laughs> Well, I was the older sister. The older one always gets the stuff. Yes, you do. Yeah. Now, and your mom is only, what, 15 years older than you? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So So that, was it like having a mom-daughter relationship or? Yes, it, it, we were more like sisters mm -hmm. than we were like, like uh, mother-daughter, I'd right. say. Now, you've been here 10 years. In 10 years, you've had a pretty good, successful business. Yes, without I, I problems, enjoy it. Without problems without until problems. May. May 1st. May 1st. The, Tell the flood, us a of, bit the about flood it. of 2010, mm -hmm. uh, it just, the flood that devastated Nashville devastated us here too. Mm -hmm. We had about 20 inches of rain in uh, 24 hours right. and it just, everything went underwater. And we have to say, we are very near the Duck River. About... About a mile, okay. maybe three quarters of a mile to the duck. Okay. And this, the, the cornfields flood, which makes for wonderful uh, farmland. Uh -huh. I mean, we're, we're, we're happy that the duck floods, right. but this time it was just a little more than usual. Was anybody expecting what happened? No, not, not, I don't know how you could expect that kind of a, that, that much water. It was just more than, more than's ever been. Was there anything you could do to stop what happened to devastate Nothing. your business? Nothing. No. Nothing at all. Just, you know, you just, you're, you're thankful that you're alive. You're thankful Nobody that everyone you know yeah. is alive. And I, I was concerned about my cat. He spent three days on top of the, the <laughs> roof of the barn. And, <laughs> cat know, on a hot tin roof. <laughs> cat on a hot tin roof. And uh, he lost. Yeah, we ought to make a movie. <laughs> he lost a little weight, but he's he was all right. And, oh wow! Um, and everybody, you know, it was devastating to everyone in the area. But were you the business hit the hardest? I don't know that I was the business hit the hardest. It, I, I was hit hard because we went all the way underwater. Uh -huh. But uh, and a we lot can of show marks on the wall. I mean, I can see the marks on the wall. They're taller than I am. Yes, I'm five foot four. Yes, there was so. a good there was a good ten foot of water, uh -huh. or twelve in here. So. Wow! And wow. it just we just didn't expect it. It had never flood. Uh -huh. I'm not even in the one hundred year flood zone. So. Can we talk about the seventeen hundred year building? I mean, well, it's an amazing this, the, building. This old barn was built in the late seventeen hundreds, early eighteen hundreds. Uh -huh. The area along the Duck River, probably. Um, 
was populated before Waverly or Hurricane Mills because uh -huh. of the river was used for transportation. Right, probably an Indian village? There was Indian villages, yes there were, but uh -huh. uh, but also, uh, and then the white settlers came and, and uh, farmed this land along uh -huh. the rivers. It was good farmland, still is. Yeah. Now, 10 years you've been here, have you developed relationships? Because while I've been here visiting with you, people come in who know you and who come back to see you. Is that a big deal? Yes, they come They come every year. Uh -huh. uh, if they come to the ranch and they come down and visit with me and, and um, a lot of uh, mom's fans become friends. Right. You right. know, they're, they're just like family, a right. lot of them. Well, yesterday when I got here, you had some blackberries that were picked on uh -huh. the porch. Yeah, and I gave you my recipe for a blackberry cobbler, which is so, so simple. And we're going to try that. <laughs> it is so, so simple. It is so, so simple. And um, one of the things about your mom, she led a very simple life in the early years. Do you today lead a simple life? Yes. And, and my parents, uh, even in the later years, even during her career, liked simple things. They liked garden, they liked uh -huh. the fresh vegetables, uh -huh. fresh fruit, and right. yes, we do, we, we still like that. I prefer that. Yeah, let's talk about your children. Are they involved in your business? Yes, my daughter works here at the store with me. My other daughter uh, worked for Saturn for several years, and now she's going to be down here helping me too. So okay. it is family owned and operated. And you're open April through November? April through November. Nine to five? Nine to five. Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, 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 Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, I bought a treasure here. I bought a beautiful platter. When I was visiting your mom's house, she had a plate collection. I love plates, and I love old china, but I have to have pink roses on them. I like china, too. You had a beautiful platter with a pink rose on it. Your mom autographed it yes. in gold. I love this. So it's my treasure. That's what I'm taking back from Betty C's Flea Market. I also bought a plate from up at your mom's place that kind of matches that one. And I said, you know, you can come in here and you can find a treasure for as little as $5. Yes, you can. Uh, our prices from $2 uh -huh. up. I mean, uh -huh. I do have expensive antiques, but I also have things that just for gifts for right. that people can buy. Well, let me tell you what our pride was. Yesterday, Gail and Fran bought those $5 fans that your mom autographed. Right. Honey, last night at that concert, when it was 105 degrees in that building, that fan was worth $50. Absolutely. Betty, so you can get me. <laughs> Absolutely. It was awesome. The concert was amazing. Um, we saw your twin sisters, Peggy and Patsy, sing, and we got to see Sissy. Me, personally, I like Sissy. I think she's so close to your mom in voice. She is, and, and she's got a lot of energy, and she she, does. she sings very country. She uh -huh. has a, yes, she's she does. She's a little bit country. She does, yeah, she and I does love that. Good job. I love that. Yeah, yeah, I think so, too. And I think we got to see one of your nieces last night. She's Patsy's, 11. Patsy's uh, daughter. Uh -huh. yeah. And I have not heard her sing, but she I understand she does very well. Yeah. And, and did the guitar, too. Yes. She took Ernest Ray's guitar, and she played that. Very good. We were poor, but we had love. Okay, siblings. How many of the siblings are still involved in this home area? Well, Patsy lives uh, in Kingston Springs, and Peggy has a, uh, a farm in Goodlettsville. In fact, it was the original place that Mom and Daddy moved to uh -huh. when, we moved, when we first came to Nashville. From uh, Washington State? Well, we, we lived in, in Madison for a while, and then we, okay. th we moved to Goodlettsville, and Peggy and her husband have an organic farm, oh, wow. and they grow a lot of vegetables and uh -huh. flowers and have animals, and uh -huh. uh, it's called Madison Creek Farms. And then Patsy, um, she and Patsy does a lot of mom's management, a lot right. of the booking and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So, and Sissy, of course, has her store. And we had, last night, we had Sissy's potato salad, her southwestern chicken salad, her well, corn I relish. Love the southwestern I love chicken it. Salad. It was so good. And the corn relish. And you know what we had that was really, really good? And I was a little bit surprised by this. We all went, oh, I don't know if we're going to like this or not. That sweet and sour coleslaw. It was great. Very good. Very good. Very, Very good. good. You'll have to try the smoked sausage sandwich. Oh, wow. She next told me time. she was making some of those that's when I went to my, her. That's my favorite. Yeah. Now, are you also a good cook? Welcome back to Hurricane Mills, Tennessee. We're visiting with Sissy Lynn, and something smells so good. Is it the potato salad? 
Is it the BLT? Is it the coleslaw? Sissy, what have you been cooking? Everything. We cook everything. Everything, everything we make, we cook to order. So it smells I so good yeah, in here. It does. It, it, we just fix two smoked sausage sandwiches and fried bologna. Oh, fried bologna, <laughs> fried bologna. We are near your mom's ranch. Yes. Now, this is your second store. You used to have a small store up in the campground. Up in the campground. Okay. And uh, we closed it and moved over this here. This is big time. Yeah. This is big time. Yeah. You also have, what do we call this, the music barn? Music barn, museum, gift shop, ball wrap between one. Pictures, incredible pictures, such a history, such yeah. a history. Let's talk a little bit about a photo of you. You were drop dead gorgeous. I still clean I up good. You do. <laughs> you do. I still can. Now touring, what was that like? I, I loved that. I loved the singing. Mm -hmm. I love. Um, I love to entertain. Uh, business part of it, it ain't worth having. No. But you know the the. Everybody, I got to open for so many people. Got to open for Conway. I mean, oh gosh. I was. Susie, lucky. what was that like? Well, you know, it was funny because at first he kind of hurt my feelings because he didn't even speak to me. Oh, and wow. I'm like, you have sung with mom all these oh, years wow. and you're not going to... But Conway was shy. Really? And then after the show, that's when he, you okay. know, acknowledged and stuff. Uh -huh. But I, I think it's, you know, I don't know. It was just I think he was just a shy person. Oh. But Nobody I, knew that about him. Mm -mm. No, but he was a really... I mean, he loved mom. The best duo in country music history, your mother and Conway Twitty. Yep. Never got any yep. better than that. No. And I think when that was lost, maybe lost forever? It lost, well, all the duets are lost. Mm -hmm. They don't have such a thing as duets anymore. They have conglomerations Could we have Sissy Lynn and somebody? <laughs> Who can we put Sissy Lynn with? Well, my husband does a pretty dang good well, job of singing. John? Where is John? <laughs> well, right now he's still sleeping. He works okay. nights. Okay. And he works security on Mama's Ranch. Okay. And now he'll be down at the show tonight. So Looking so forward to tonight's show. Yeah. And we will be sitting front row. I'm so excited. You're lucky. I'm so excited. Well, you know, we killed three people and we buried four and then we've hung two just to get these front and, row seats. And did you know the law has called looking for you yes, also? Yes, I know. Don't tell them we're in there really big. Or we're going to be on the front row <laughs> yeah, because yeah. the chief of police actually works the front <laughs> of the stage. We're <laughs> so excited. We've made It'll many trips up here, never got front row seats. This oh, is going to be incredible. You, yeah. We want to encourage people to come here to Hurricane yes. Mills. Come and stop, stop and see Betty Sue oh, first. Yeah. Spend a little bit of money up there. Save the bulk of your money to come down here and buy all your groceries. And eat. They, <laughs> we can right. feed. We're, uh, I can feed you whatever. You know. You can do tour buses coming in oh, here. Yes. You can feed a whole busload, yes, can't I, you? Yes, and have done. And then I've done them 30-minute shows. Right. You know, so they got the cook uh -huh. and the entertainer wrapped She's up this one. She's got it all. What more can you ask for it? You are a little bit of Doolittle Lynn and a whole lot of Loretta Lynn. Talk about your parents. Uh, that, I, it's hard for me on words with mm -hmm. them. You know, uh, my daddy was my life. Mm -hmm. uh, daddy's I, girl. A daddy's girl. Daddy's girl. When I lost him, I lost five years of my life, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like I just went nuts, you know. Wow. And it took me a while to pull up my boots and mm -hmm. say, girl, if you put you it back together now. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, I can't imagine life without her. You know, she holds, I'm worried about our family staying together, right. and, um, but mom has flat kept us all together. And, and tonight we will see family, family, oh, family. Yeah. There'll be nieces, granddaughters. You Earth never Ray. know. Lots of sometimes Crystal Gale comes, Peggy Sue comes. Mm -hmm. I mean, mom never knows. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids, all of us kids are always there. Uh, if, she, if she needs us, we're there, mm -hmm. you know, and... Uh, we heard you sing last time we were here. Yep. I you got sang, a big mouth, don't I? And I still <laughs> think you sing more like your mom than anybody. I, I, I you think. Do. I'm you do. You've nailed you it. Know, yeah. I'm yeah. country. I, I tell everybody I'm a better entertainer than I am a singer. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a good singer. I'm not a great singer. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love people. And right. I love to entertain. And I guess for me, singing is I have to sing... And what I sing, I feel. Okay, Hurricane Mills is the perfect location for a fall vacation. Make plans. This week, y'all, I'm telling you, it is the perfect time to go because... 
we have all weekend, including uh, all week, including the weekend, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. The highs are going to be in the 70s and finally hit, I think, 79 by Sunday. Get out and take a trip. Do Hurricane Mills, do the Buford Pusser Museum, come down to Muscle Shoals and do the amazing Music um, Hall of Fame. It is it's so much fun there. And come on down to, um, you can go to DeSoto Falls over in Alabama. You can go to Cloudland Canyon coming up there in the corner of Georgia. There's so much to see within just a few hours of where we're sitting in LJ, Georgia. So get out, and if you have not been to Hurricane Mills, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. It is so cool. Check their schedule because they do have concerts on the weekends. I'm not sure when their concerts end because we are getting on those cool evenings, and it is outdoor concerts. But it is just a great place, and if you like horseback riding, if you want to go camping, they have campsites there. They have primitive campsites, and they have really nice campsites Get out and take a trip to Hurricane Mills. It is just amazing. Now, this is the end of racing season. And I, I was a race fanatic as long as Dale Earnhardt was on the track. But once we lost Dale, I kind of lost my buzz for wanting to watch racing. And then a young man came along, and his name is Chase Elliott. And I just, that kid is just amazing. And then he hurt his leg, and he was out for a bit. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, what were you thinking? But racing is one of those things. We know that Dawson County was famous for moonshine. We know that a lot of people learned to drive very, very fast as they ran with a load of shine through these hills. That's where racing started. And so, of course, it was appropriate that the president of NASCAR, Mike Helton, come to North Georgia and visit. I was lucky enough to get to meet him. This is like the highlight ever. I've done a bunch of interviews. I've talked to a bunch of cool people. And, and you, you think about it, from Charlie Pride, I was so blessed to get to spend time with him, Donna Fargo, you know, so many people that really touched my heart. But Mike Helton, that was like the one. That was like the one. And y'all don't even know who he is, but he's the president. He was the president of NASCAR. He was the man who made the announcement the day that Dale Earnhardt lost his life. And it will forever be, I'm getting cold chills thinking about it, in my mind, I know the moment, the time, the place, I know the call I got, it was gut-wrenching. Racing will never be the same, but racing is about to end for the season, and then it will come back to Daytona in February. So I thought, how appropriate to share a visit with Dan Elliott, Bill Elliott's brother, and one of the nicest, nicest guys you ever would meet. He's responsible for me getting to meet Mike Helton, so here we go. It's for 
from day one, you know, we've talked about it on the show how important that is to me. And the fact that we had searched and we came up with the 11th hour and we didn't have sponsorship and came up with Mayfield. Mayfield, that's what I mean. Yeah, they're talking about Fence coming. It's coming, American Fence Association. Uh-huh. They're coming on board and I hope you can get a some footage of the trophy that we have for, for tonight's race because it? it's in the infield and it's actually um, hopefully you'll get it, but it's, it's, not to get it. it's Gates, oh and, and it is awesome because I've come up with this idea for next year we're going to do a race with the local fence company, Chapman Fence Company, and we're going to do a race with it, and I think we're going to do a trophy that will be part of Gates. Oh, how neat is that? Now, the Ranger family has to be thrilled today. They're absolutely thrilled, Beth, and with reason, because this race, um, I, I never, I never, I thought really that it would outshine the world crown because the world crown stands on its own. But this race is remarkable in the fact that it already has established itself as premier. And um, also, too, uh, scooping on something else, we have agreed to another Canyon race next year. And that will be a different date, of course, because this day next year, because of NASCAR setting up with their schedule, will be on Bristol race weekend. So I refuse to go down to Bristol no, no. Saturday night. Right? So. No, no, no. Now let's talk a little bit about who's going to be here today. Who are some of the drivers? What will people see? You'll see these, these drivers are the ones that uh, travel everywhere because this is the the next step from here would be the truck series or nationwide. This is the second stone, the last one before you go into the big three. Right. So these drivers are all, you've got Richard Chose's grandson, you've got Mark Goods' brother. This is the drivers that you'll see, and they're from uh, everywhere, up and coming, because we were talking today about the people that come out and meet these drivers in the years to come will be the drivers that will be running for Dale Jr. or Mark Martin or Jack Gordon. These were the drivers. The Kathy Robert here tonight. No, and, and that surprises me because this series carries a lot of credibility. And, you know, if all the drivers knew what I knew of the people who were going to be here tonight, Absolutely. and the eyes that were going to be all them, yeah. they would be, there would be so much pressure that I don't know if I could drive down the back straight with them. Because this is, this is important. Well, tonight's my council check up um, he has to respect what you've done. Absolutely. Do you think that that's happening with NASCAR with all the tracks working together to bring the families back and to make NASCAR better? Not always what it's family fun, family sport, family everything. Family sport is one of the things you've worked on really, really hard. If they don't, they have to look at this. I hope it's not that they will get a good idea of what we're trying to accomplish here. Wow, that was that was really cool to get to see Dan Elliott. Angela loved Dan and his beautiful daughter Sheena, and we had so much fun with them. And so many great memories at Gresham Motorsports Park. Sadly, the park is closed now, and I don't know if it's because of sponsorship with racing. I'm not sure what's going on in the racing world because honestly, I just don't watch it like I used to. But I still love to see Talladega. I still love to see Atlanta. I still love to see Daytona. There were some of the tracks that I just, it wasn't my thing. And, and Bristol is one of those cool tracks. So if you like racing, as the season ends, everybody's pulling for their favorite. And uh, it's, it's kind of sad to see that Gresham didn't make it because it was a beautiful, beautiful park. And a lot of time and energy was put into it. So if you like something, you better support it because if you don't support it, it'll go away. So, so remember that. Thank you to everybody who supported the Apple Festival. Thank you to everybody who visited the Apple Festival. Thank you to everybody who bought an apple because Gilmer County has had record-breaking numbers and people have done very, very well. Businesses are open, vibrant, alive, and loving seeing folks come through the doors. So again, and if you haven't been out and supported our local restaurants and our businesses, please do that because when fall leaves us, you know what comes in. Those dreary winter months and the locals have to keep the businesses going. So y'all get out and support our local businesses. Now yesterday I did <clears throat> just a little bitty video as I was going in to preview a piece of property and um, it was interesting because 
the leaves were turning and I was trying to get the perfect colors and the sun was in weird places. So I don't know how good the video is gonna be, but I wanna share Earl Thomas Conley, probably one of my very, very favorite interviews. I spent a lot of time with a man who was really, really sick with the flu and I didn't get the flu and I was so thankful. But not long after that, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And um, sadly, when he lost his battle with Alzheimer's, the music can't end. We can't forget him. We can't forget his wonderful music. So we want to share Smoky Mountain Memories. It is a song that I can't tell you how many hundreds of thousands of times I've listened to it over and over and over. So again, if you have DVR, hit your DVR and, and keep this little memory of a very, very special man. He had 23 number one songs. He wrote some of the best you've ever heard. And uh, our tribute to him is because he was one of a kind and uh, he is so sorely missed. Here we go, Smoky Mountain Memories. I'm talking 